What the cutting locust left, the swarming locust has eaten. What the swarming locust left, the hoping locust has eaten. And what the hoping locust left, the destroying locust has eaten. It is now time for people to repent. This is not normal. We're in the Kenyan bush on the hunt for a biblical invasion. Swarms of desert locusts have been sweeping across East Africa. They're always on the move, and we wanted to track them down. How are you doing? Very well, thanks. I'm Yes. Kemal. Oh, very good. Nice to meet you. Yes, so welcome you. in. We're looking for the locusts. The locusts? Where are they? They have been here. Plenty of them. Uh -huh. They have just taken their way away, away from here. So you think they're still in the area? They are still in the area, of course. They haven't gone far? They're not very far, indeed. Chief of Usweni village, Daniel Muli, wanted to show us what they are facing. They are not friendly. They are not friendly. You try to scare them away, they, they crash you and they, they can even try to scratch. And you said your wife is scared of it? Of course. She, she could not uh, attempt to scare them alone. Daniel and his villagers are in a race against the locusts. They track their movements, warning others, in a desperate attempt to save their crops. Our locusts were meant to be born. Eh. Go over the, 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 now this direction. This direction. I think we can follow this direction. If you are not afraid, then we capture the other way. We come back to Sweni. Mazi wangole. Wamanda munda neva ya. Are you doing something? Oh, you, you, you. They are there right away. They are there right now. Let us go and see them. Please. Don't have tongue here. The insects can travel 80 miles a day, so are hard to catch. And we are just too late. You can hear the, the okay. Yeah, you can hear the sound as they are flying. They land and feast, then fly on. But Daniel isn't giving up. As darkness falls, he knows the swarm will soon rest somewhere for the night. Oh, yeah, the big ones. That's the way it is. And there they were. A black and yellow cloud swirled overhead. This is why some people call them the teeth of the wind. Wow. Massive swarms of locusts have just invaded in this area. They're just moving around. I could hear people screaming, banging and banging, trying to chase them away, but it won't make any difference. Each locust eats their body weight every day. There are millions in this swarm alone. Now these are now, they are, they are landing. And they are taking the, all their night here. So this tree tomorrow will not be tree anymore. They will have consumed every leaf. Tomorrow, the farmers here will wake up to a wasteland. The next morning, when we returned to Usweni, the locusts had already begun another day of destruction. Kenya has not seen an assault like this in 70 years. Climate change may be to blame. Unseasonal cyclones dumped huge amounts of water on the Arabian Peninsula, creating the perfect breeding grounds. These insects have already traveled from Yemen through Ethiopia, Somalia, and now Kenya. They are eating grasses and uh, even Leaves. the trees. And how do you feel about it? Ah, they are enjoying themselves. Nothing else. The beasts are devouring East Africa's bread baskets as populations fight a losing battle. A swarm of one kilometer squared, like this one you can just make out below, can eat as much food as 35,000 people. 
leaving farms like Daniel's in ruins. It takes uh, around uh, four months to grow. Four so months. Four months you've the, been the working on this, farm. Been on this farm. And you lost them. I lost everything. As you can really see. See? They have destroyed everything. The other side, they, are, they were full. Destroyed everything. Whatever was green, they have destroyed completely. We are around uh, 10,000 people in this location. I don't have any hope. Okay, right. The problem may be even worse than Daniel fears. And at the riverbed on the edge of the village, we found out why. The Santrocas have identified a place where they can deposit their eggs. In two weeks, those eggs will hatch. For the local people, what it means, the problem is far from over. The Kenyan government has been trying to contain the swarms, spraying pesticide, but with limited resources, it's having little effect. In a region already struggling with food scarcity, markets like these could soon be empty, leaving millions of people without food. As the plagues of locusts multiply, East Africa is now facing a problem of biblical proportions. Divine intervention may be the only salvation. And Jamal now joins us live from Nairobi. Uh, Jamal, why has this problem proved so impossible to contain? John, what you saw in our report is a tiny example of what's happening here in East Africa. The scale of the problem is enormous. There are several huge challenges. Two of the, uh, two, uh, Yemen and Somalia are largely inaccessible to international aid agencies. The countries affected are not cooperating and the, the, the locust population is growing fast and is spreading to other countries. Experts are warning that if the situation is not contained very soon, we, will, we are likely to see a humanitarian crisis in the coming months. Jamal Osman in Nairobi, thank you.